Right, here I am, back at All Well Motorcycles, yeah, marvellous, Ipswich, glorious day, look at it, yeah, uh, I'm on a different bike, what is it, yeah, uh, if I go down very, very slowly, yeah, look at that, it's a used 2016-17 uh, Triumph Thruxton, yeah, 1200, <laughs> oh, oh, Vance and Hines pipes on it, listen to that, um, it's got these uh, bar and mirrors. They seem to be a must, really, on uh, on these uh, retro calf bikes. But we'll see how we get on. Yeah. Obviously, it's not the R, the RS, or anything. It's just fairly standard. Twelve hundred Tuxton. Yeah, marvellous, can't wait, yeah, I, I'm so excited, ah, just traffic. Oh, listen to that, listen to that. <laughs> Oh dear me, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what have I done, got on this, oh my word, oh my word, I'm going to be in trouble with the bank, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, oh dear right so um, I, do you know what I'm not even going to oh yeah no I've got to have an I've got to do I've got to do the the dual carriageway um, and I've got to do um, the Suffolk Road I was going to say I'm going to go a different route, I was going to go down the Naughty Boy back roads but I better not, no, um, because it's not a fair comparison look at this, it's got the Vance and Hines pipes on it, there's all sorts of little touches to it <laughs> it's splendiferous, it's splendiferous, I've only gone about 200 yards Oh my word, um, wh what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut you off and I'm going to come back when I get to the Suffolk Road and then we'll do the dual carriage ride the way back. Marvellous. So, just come down the A14. What a hoot, what a hoot. Yeah, right, so I better get on with the reviews then, hadn't I? Uh, two round clocks, marvellous. Um, fire and mirrors, you know my feelings about that. It sort of goes with it, so we live with it. Um, sort of clip on type bars. Um, you know, I mean. <laughs> it's a Triumph Thruxton, <laughs> I'm speechless. Big black tank with a big silver aluminium band across it. Um, on the A14 it's sublime and you'll, we'll do a bit going back. Handling seems okay so far and of course this is the thing that worries me about it is this is standard Triumph stuff on this. This isn't all fancy gadget stuff. Um, I, what's it going to be like on the bumpy road, you know? What's it going to be like? Um, six speed box, clutch as light as a feather, gear shift, it's triumph. You know when you're in and out of gear, you know when you're moving, that's all I'll say about it. But it's fine, no false neutrals, nothing. Um, just a clunk, just to say, yeah you've changed gear. Marvellous. Um, this bike's done about 11,000 miles, I think. Um, but
but you know it's four or five years old five years old yeah so let's see what it's like anyway on the bumps It seems to be riding these bumps absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. They do progressively get worse just before the level crossing turn in. But yeah, it's fine, absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's a few years old as well. But like I was saying, my concern is down. The T120 that I had was unruly. This doesn't feel unruly. It feels naughty, but not unruly. Um, so I'll be interested to see just what it goes like down the uh, Suffolk Road. And then we'll stop and we'll have a walk around. Yeah. The brakes, absolutely perfect for it. They're, you know, they're not Brembo or anything, no. But that sound... It's just beyond splendiferous. <laughs> I'll listen to it pop and bang. Let this car go. You're welcome. So, here we go. Suffolk Road test, and we'll stop part way down in my new place. Oh, look at that. Cars, bicycles, horses, small people, large people. So, we've got to be on our guard. But they can hear me coming. <laughs> well, uh, it handles this really well. You know, you won't want to go stupid down here anyway. Um, but you've got like musical accompaniment. Yeah, that's what it's like. Uh, so you don't necessarily want to go fast. You want to be on and off the throttle. And here we are, we'll stop in the shade, so you can't see it properly. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that, but I do like this spot. It's my new favourite spot. But I'll get it in the sun if I can. And there we go. Got that in and out gear, no trouble at all. Look at that, what do you think? It's marvellous, isn't it? So, look at it. It is marvellous, isn't it? Oh, they are a thing of beauty. They really are. And age doesn't change it, does it? No. No, it doesn't. Oh, single seat. Mrs. Ollier motorcyclist would just have to thumb a lift. Marvellous. So, there you go. Look at that. It's just splendiferous, isn't it? Yeah. And if we step back, let this car go. That's just marvellous. What a view. I like this bike an awful lot. The cat's been removed. Yeah. It's got a dog instead. Yeah, marvellous. Big round headlamp. Traditional indicators. Gators. Twin disc brakes at the front, nothing fancy, just your Triumph. Lovely wheels, I like the wheels. Um, 1200, it's not the high torque engine. No, it's uh, before that. Oh, the tank's lovely, isn't it? Massive, long thing. Yeah, like a racer. Marvellous. Um, it's had the 
levers change. They say thruxton on look thruxton, marvelous, adjustable. And this is about seven grand, seven thousand pounds. Look at it, it's marvelous. Um, yeah, you know, what more can I say? Yeah, it's just splendiferous. So it's beyond splendiferous. I think standard shocks on it. Tiny little disc on the back. Absolutely fine. Makes no never mind. It stops. Nice little uh, uh, light at the end. It's got a is that LED or something? Must be. I don't think it's standard. Um, but it's been well looked after. So I've already got the bobbins on the back. Yeah, no centre stand, but bobbins on the back, ready for you to jack up. Um, it is marvellous. So. And so's the view, look, I'll show you the view, because it is splendiferous. I'm going to be sailing down there tomorrow, yeah, marvellous. Excellent. <laughs> right, back on board, let's get going, two round clocks, proper clocks, yeah. Ah, oh, listen to that, marvellous. Uh, it's in road. Um, ABS on 11,000 miles, I was correct. Um, we're into sport, yeah. Apparently, uh, everyone was telling me about putting the T120 in rain to try and smooth out some of that jerkiness. But the nice gentleman at Orwell advised me, again, he's ridden this a lot, to Put it in sport, says it smooths it out, yeah. So that's what I've been doing, putting it in sport, and he's right, it does. Didn't have a sport on the T120, but you'd have thought it'd have had the opposite effect, <laughs> but it handles so well down these little back lanes. It's marvellous. Yeah, so on to the senses. Um, Taste? I'm not tasting it. No. Um, smell? It's done 11,000 miles, and do you know what? It smells like a new bike. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Yeah. Um, uh, looks. <laughs> It's uh, splendiferous, isn't it? It is, yeah. For, to me, it is anyway. You might disagree. I think it looks splendiferous. It's done a little, few little touches on it, whoever's had it before. Um, and they're subtle. And they add to it. Um, and it's splendiferous. Yeah, splendiferous to look at. Um, and then... To touch, um, <laughs> it's splendiferous. It's quality. Yeah, it feels absolutely gorgeous. Nice shapes, um, quality gear. Nice little levers. Nice little touches. The only thing against it is the um, bar end mirrors, but they sort of go well with it. Yeah. Um, and then, only one left, sound. Uh, I'm not going marvellous, I'm not going bloody marvellous. Uh, I'm not even going splendiferous. I'm not even going beyond splendiferous. I'm going fantabulous. The sound is fantabulous, yeah. Absolutely, I don't, it's just incredible. Um, yes, it's a calf racer. Yes, you've got slightly dropped bars and slightly raised pegs, and uh, your legs are heading towards the frog shape, but not too uncomfortable. Suspension's comfortable. Um, it is. 
uh, <laughs> you know, I, I find it perfectly acceptable. Um, I could ride a long way at high speed on it, down these country lanes, um, you'd want to break after a couple of hours, I reckon. Um, but you want to break after a couple of hours of riding hard anyway, don't you? Yeah, that's what, that's what I think anyway. Um, so, what I'll do, I'll show you a little bit on the dual carriageway, and then when we get back into Ipswich, um, oh, I just listened to that sound. Um, yeah, when we get back into Ipswich, I'll uh, uh, we'll discuss the the sixth sense. How does it make me feel? Yeah. Um, so we've got a little jaunt down here because the one thing that we have got to remember is that we are in the United Kingdom, where we do have a lot of traffic, a lot of speed restrictions. Um, and that's the reality, isn't it? It's only got about 95 brake horsepower, something like that. Um, it's only got a top speed of, I don't know, 115, 120, something like that. Um, so it is all about the senses, is this bike. There we go, straight up um, onto the A14. And uh, we'll see how it is for wind and stability. Well, I know how it is because I've been down here once already. You don't know. So we'll do a little, a little bit. And this is the reality, all this traffic, isn't it? That's the stuff that makes the big bikes pointless, I suppose. So, so far, amongst all this traffic and the buffeted wind, it's dead easy, dead straightforward. Um, yeah, it's uh, very manageable, it doesn't move about, it's very stable. I'll leave you there and I'll get you back the other end. Yeah, so down the A14s, no trouble at all. Yeah, just sits there, nice and comfortable. Because um, of your position, you're a little bit out of the wind. <laughs> yeah, marvellous. So you don't get blown about too much. It's weighty enough that the bike's stable. Um, at all speeds. <laughs> that sound, that sound is just splendiferous. It really is. sense yeah how does it make me feel well uh, exhausted for one from just smiling yeah definitely big grin factor um, it's just marvelous I uh, I think um, it ticks an awful lot of boxes it really does yeah, um, I just, uh, 
it makes me feel very very happy and joyous it's a it's a, on a par with the Continental GT for feeling yeah it is it, that's where it is contentment slightly different um, but it's about seven thousand pounds and it's four or five years old I could buy a Continental GT brand new and put some uh, pipes on it yeah some Vans and Hines I think you can get as well um, yes it wouldn't quite sound the same but they sound pretty decent so is it a bike I'd consider? most definitely oh god yes yes please sir if this arrived in my uh, stocking at Christmas I'd be more than happy yeah I would and do you know what um, I don't think it makes much difference that it's not a, the new one or the RS um, with all the fancy brakes and stuff because this is a retro this is a classic bike um, but it's not going to be ridden that hard certainly not with me riding it I value my license too much and uh, yeah I'd have, yes I'd have fun you know I'm not a you know a boring old fat well as some might say I am um, but yeah it is a thoroughly enjoyable motorbike I have really really enjoyed myself and uh, really enjoyed listening to that exhaust especially the burble on the roll off get the pops and the bangs and everything <laughs> it's just marvellous but oh. They say all good things must come to an end. I'm not a big believer in that, but in this instance, as far as this bike goes, they're right. I've got to take it back. I've got to go and give it back to them. Um, but I would highly recommend, if you're in the market for such a machine, you get yourself down to Orwell Motorcycles, get your hand in your wallet, and get this bought because Oh, if I had the money, if I won the lottery, and I checked last night, I didn't win, apparently. Um, that's what I'd be doing, yeah. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> oh, what a giggle this bike is. To get down those B roads and get going through some of those little villages, with this exhaust, oh, I'll just take me straight back to my use. It would, yeah. It's a, a time travel machine, a bit like Bertie. Bertie's a time travel machine as well, uh, but of course I didn't have anything like Bertie when I was a kid. I've got a cement wagon turning here. It's not much fun, is it? I mean, that, that soundtrack is just out of this world. Oh, that purple. So, here we are, back at Orwell's. Yeah, Orwell Motorcycles. Marvellous shop, marvellous people. So friendly and helpful for everything. That's why they're so popular. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. It's a marvellous sound, isn't it? 
I mean, what can I say? But as usual, no centre stand. But it's got bobbins. Yeah. Which is always helpful if you've already got them. It saves you a few quid, doesn't it? But there you go. Look at that. Triumph Thruxton 1200 from Bog Standard 2016-2017 can't remember which look you can see myself in it that's how shiny it is here at Orwell's 7 grand what can I say marvellous <laughs>